Now moving on to our color mixing tools. Um, when you're working on a painting, it is important not only to get your value and your, your shapes right, but uh, to get also get your colors right. Um, that would be a, a large part of getting your, your artwork to look more natural and less uh, computer generated. Uh, to start with, computer color mixing is quite a bit fundamentally, fundamentally different than uh, what you were probably taught in art school. Um, in art school, you, they use a uh, red, yellow, and blue color wheel, whereas in computer art we use a uh, cyan, magenta, and yellow, or red, green, and blue color wheel. Uh, the reasons for these differences are, are kind of lost in history. Uh, there, <laughs> there's a lot of argument going back and forth, which is better, but if you're an artist, you're probably used to the red, uh, red, yellow, and blue. So basically, understanding some of the fundamentals here will help a lot in the way you create your computer art. Say we had started with the basic red, uh, red, green, and blue, or cyan, magenta, and yellow color wheel. Uh, you might notice that yellow and blue are complements on the color wheel uh, instead of yellow and purple, which means our color wheel is a little bit lopsided, uh, or more the way I like to say it, the, uh, the, the color wheel they taught us in school was a little bit lopsided. But anyways, um, we can actually remap our color wheel uh, to any, any colors we want to use, uh, but there is some built-in options for red, yellow, and green, and uh, we call these pigment profiles. If you click on this little uh, drop-down option on the color panel, you'll see a number of built-in pigment profiles. Uh, these are also available if you use the space bar. Oops. If you use the space bar, uh, and we call this the um, the uh, quick color picker or the quicker color picker. Uh, if you just hold down the space bar, it will pop up wherever your mouse is. So say you were painting something. Let me pick a better tool. Painting. Oh, let's use a. Uh, Ooh, oh, pastels. There we go. This will be a good tool to use. That'll show off that uh, that new brush tilt. By the way, I like to use that uh, that new that new feature. Uh, so, say we were working on a painting, uh, we can go in and select uh, from this new color picker, and then it'll pop right out of the way, and we can go back right to our our uh, our painting. Uh, and as you can see here, since I'm picking from this standard uh, red, green, and blue color picker my colors are a little uh, kind of well let's call them ugly uh, they don't really harmonize well uh, because I'm just basically picking random colors out of the uh, of the of the color um, the color picker there um, and uh, you could spend a lot of time trying to pick the exact color you want uh, but I, I like to think of it this way why waste time trying to pick a color when, when you're trying to concentrate on your artwork so we've built in these color profiles um, not only the red, green, and blue, or the red, yellow, and blue. Um, as you can see, when you have that red, yellow, and blue uh, profile pick now, yellow and purple are actually complementary on the color wheel. Uh, you can see complementary and analog analogous colors uh, over here, as well as a triad and a split complement, uh, like they teach you in art school. Uh, you can pick um, a tint, tone, and shade uh, value. Uh, that is kind of the color that it mixes into in the middle. Um, over there as well but say we wanted a more harmonious color color scheme while also maintaining that uh, artistically correct uh, uh, color wheel we can actually build our own profiles uh, in addition to using some of the nice built-in ones there is a profile editor built in uh, you can work from a list of a number of colors that are actually based on natural media uh, colors uh, that you would find in a, an art store. Lemon yellow, cad yellow, uh, cad red, scarlet lake, rose matter, purple uh, lake, carillion blue, ultramarine, uh, thalo blue, a number of them, uh, raw sienna, burnt sienna, uh, and on down the list. Uh, these are all colors that are originated in the, in the real world. And um, now that we have those, we can actually build a color wheel or a profile for this color wheel using six of these colors. Um, now, in art school, they tell you you can paint, uh, mix any number of colors you want from just three colors, red, yellow, and blue. And that's somewhat true. So 
say I picked some some yellow there and some red and you get kind of an orange in the middle it's really more kind of pinkish not really terribly orange and some blue and you mix that in there and you get kind of a purple here and you don't really get a green over here so it's fundamentally a little bit flawed um, you're really getting a gray there well in computer terms that yellow and that blue are actually complementary. that that means that when you mix them you're gonna get mud in the middle um, the reason this works in the real world is because when you have a blue pigment it's not really just blue pigment it has some other colors some green and that sort of thing mixed in there so when you mix that blue and yellow you're actually really mixing more of a blue green and a, and a yellowy blue blue yellow together and then that becomes let's see that becomes a green see, I'm getting a more of a greenish blue here I'm gonna pick sort of a cool yellow here as you can see as we mix these together we actually finally starting to get a little bit of a green color in there it's just a matter of knowing the properties of the colors that you're working with um, say I'd mixed a, a greenish blue together with a, a, a red orange red or just a red red I wouldn't get the best purple um, but say I use a, a more of a, a royal blue color and, and a, like a rose matter I would get a very good purple in there or uh, or something to that effect so it's a good idea knowing the properties of these colors you're working with before you start painting um, now with pigment profiles we can actually build a a color set uh, say we were working with these um, uh, what do you call them? pastel colors when you buy a box box of pastels you get a set of colors you don't get all the colors in the rainbow you get maybe 24 different colors to work with um, or if you work in a uh, from a box of uh, watercolors you might get six colors to work with you might get lemon yellow uh, which is a cool yellow you might get some cad yellow which is a warm yellow you might get some uh, phthalo blue, which is kind of a blue-green or a, a cool blue. Let me see if I can be somewhere in there. Well, not quite that green, but somewhere in there. Uh, you might get an ultramarine, which is kind of a warm blue, uh, bordering on purple. And you might get a, uh, a rose matter, which is kind of a purplish uh, red. And you might get a, uh, a cad red, which is just kind of a semi deep red so you might have these six colors in your color set and that's basically what you want to do what you want to create when you create a color profile or pigment profile is use a net a set of natural world colors just like you would out of a box of watercolor paints or out of a uh, box of uh, pastel colors so I'll go back into that profile editor um, and I'll do what I just said there I'll use some lemon yellow I'll drag it down there I'll take a cad yellow deep and I'll drag that on there and then I'll take that uh, that cad red or maybe a cad red deep I think I'll use the normal cad red I'll drag that over there rose matter I'll put that over here uh, you can see that yellow and that rose matter are complementary. I'll uh, also add a, um, let's see, uh, phthalo blue and also that ultramarine I spoke about. And that will make our new color profile that you can see here. And that is basically what you might get in a color uh, box of watercolors. Or say you bought some uh, some oil colors, you might get a, a set of earth tones, and you want to make a completely unique set of colors. Uh, you might get some Naples yellow and some some of these other colors. But basically, you build this color color wheel using these preset colors, or you can uh, define your own colors over here and drag them on there, uh, such as this or or whatever. And this basically becomes your new color wheel. Uh, once you have that color wheel, it, it is uh, operable throughout most of the program. Um, say this this box here or up here, or when you pick the, uh, the the quick color picker, or when you work in this uh, this um, color harmony panel here, or the color wheel here, 
uh, as you can see all of them are using that color profile now so it makes it a lot easier to pick a, um, a number of colors or a, uh, a, a consistent set of colors as you're working instead of having really arbitrary colors in your painting you now have a very unified set of colors to work from um, you also can pick complementary colors much more easily easily because they're on the opposite sides sides of the color wheel and uh, it's basically also allows you to find your own color sets or you can use the built-in red green blue or you can use the red yellow and blue profiles